So we've got the Glock 43X and the Glock 48. It's the brand new thing. Is their hype worth listening to? Are they just rebranded other Glock guns that aren't really that insightful? I don't know. Watch the video and find out. America! We're going to kind of cover today the whole sort of main Glock 9mm family. Certainly they're 17s and 34s and things like that, but these offerings are kind of the main area that Glock sells the most guns, right? The 19s and the 43s. So since they're kind of relative, single stack versus double stack, really compact versus uh, the, the, the mid-size frame, the only thing we don't have here covered is the 26, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of talk about the differences and how we feel about these new guns. I have to say that I really wasn't all that excited about the new guns that were coming out. When I saw them advertised to us, I was like, you know, big deal, right? It's a, it's a shinier, uh, silvery frame with a 10-round uh, magazine and a little bit longer grip. At first, I was like, that's a dumb niche. And then I realized after handling these and messing with them and looking at them and talking to the guys and having different people handle them here with us that they really do fit a very specific place. And I think they're a great offering. It kind of fills a little gap that, got, that Glock had. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one kind of individually compared to its closest family member. And we'll just talk about the guns a little bit. So let's look at the difference between the 43 and the 43X. The most obvious thing is the longer grip. We have a, a 10 round mag in here versus the six round mag that comes in the Glock 43. If you read about on their website, it tells you that there's a difference in length. It tells us that the, the Glock 43X is six and a half inch overall length, whereas the 43 is a six and a quarter inch overall length. However, if we take these guns and we compare the two side by side, line and sight up against sight, I can't tell the difference. I guess if you look at that taper on the front, maybe that does add a slight uh, difference, but I really don't feel like it is a quarter inch at all. It doesn't look that way to me, and it's really hard to tell the difference. Uh, and, you know, I mean, on camera, you can see how the sights line up and everything else. So the point is, I wouldn't really worry about that length difference that they say. This one is this NPVD finish. It's a different finish from this one. Uh, this one is obviously a silver color with the... Uh, serrations on the front versus non-serrated. I guess you could argue that that gives you a different way to pull the slide. Uh, the the trigger weights and the uh, or the trigger distance rather is supposed to be 2.56 inches on the 19 or I'm sorry on the 43 versus the 43x. So it's supposed to be a shorter pull. But if you look at the trigger pull, uh, they're both, it says 24 in on there. So they should both be equal um, as far as the, the weight it takes to pull. The weight without the magazine of the, the 43 is 450 grams, or 460 grams rather, or 16.23 ounces. It's 23 ounces on the 43X. So this one is slightly heavier. You have a little bit of extra polymer. The weight with the loaded magazine is fairly well different. It's three more ounces heavier with this guy than it is on the Glock 43 itself, or the original 43. Now you might look at these and say to yourself, man, I could just put a mag extension on my 43. And maybe that's the case. You might be right about that. Uh, if you already own a 43. However, if you don't own a 43, the, the 43X might be a nice segue for you between th that and the 19 because the 19 is a significantly larger firearm here when we look at them together and it's also double stack. So a lot of people really feel like you know, that they are, like especially thin people and, and, and different types of people that are smaller framed, they might really appreciate the fact that it is in fact a thinner frame than a double stack like a 19 or a 26. The 26 is also a great double stack gun, but it is a little bit of fat, uh, a little bit fat proportionally speaking, to a 43. So 
This gun will come with uh, Mariglow sights, it can come with Glock night sights, or it can come with standard sights. I do like how this feels in the hand. If you look at my hand, it's a little bit larger. This is a little bit more natural for me to hold it this way. First off, before we mess with it much more, I'm going to verify that it is in fact clear. We have empty magazines. We have an empty gun all the way through the pipe. I think the trigger is fine on this. Like most Glocks, it's kind of got a little bit of creep and then kind of has, you know, a break point. It's fine. If you're used to running Glocks, you're, you're not going to have any issues with that. This is a 10 round magazine here for the gun itself. You will notice that it only comes with two magazines versus the three that comes with a traditional Gen 5 gun, like a 19X or a 26 or something like that. These magazines are cross compatible. If I bring in my 48 over here, you can see that I can take the magazine out. Let's check safe just because I'm going to leave it over here open. And you'll notice that I can just immediately insert that magazine and that it does function fine, lock back and all those kinds of things. You'll notice some commonality between the 43X and the 48. And that commonality is that they share the exact same frame size. So you will notice that there is a, again, we're going to check it to make sure it's clear. I have to pull the trigger to remove the slide. You will notice that the spring itself on the 48 is the same length of spring that is, check the 43 for clear, discharge, remove the top. You'll notice it is the same spring length. If you look at a 19, you're going to notice a significantly larger spring. So we're going to check our 19 for clear, for safety's sake. You will notice you can see all the way through and it's clear. I'm going to pull the trigger and release the slide. You will notice it is a significantly larger spring. That is because of the significant difference in frame size. If you look at these two frames, obviously they are nowhere close. Now why is it that despite the fact that the 48 is the same length as the um, 19 or at least a highly similar length uh, slide as the 19, why does it not have the same length spring, right? That, that would make logical sense. And the answer brings us back to frame. If we look at the frame for the 48 here, it is again the identical frame. I could swap these out on video. I'm not going to go through the trouble. It is the identical frame for the 43s. And so therefore, you'll notice that the spring actually seats right here at the back of, I guess, would, what would be called the dust cover here on the bottom. So it stops here at the back. And then we, uh, when, when we put it back together, you'll notice that the whole spring assembly and everything is the same. Again, interchangeable frames between these two guns. You know, the 43 original is a little bit smaller gun. If you're really looking for ultimate concealability, the grip length does matter. If you're looking for a little bit more capacity, you do add four more rounds in this gun, you know, uh, plus one in the pipe, it may make sense. I mean, that starts to push you up pretty close to a 26 capacity, but you don't have to deal with the big bulky frame of the 26. And so, it, you know, again, it is a really interesting little niche. I didn't think I was going to be a big fan of it, but then once I really looked at it, I said, you know, this is a really logical place. It's one more set of decisions that a consumer could make to decide whether or not that that gun might be a better concealment gun than going with maybe a 19, which is a significantly larger gun. When you're a guy like me that weighs well over 200 pounds, I don't have a problem concealing a gun like this. I have rolls that could bury this gun. However, for somebody that's a lot smaller frame, there's a lot of guys running out there in the 160, 170 pound mark. There's a lot of ladies running around anywhere between 105 to 125 pounds. It may make more sense to have a much more concealable gun in that respect. And you get a little more capacity than you do with the other 43. So other than that, it's, you know, there's some cosmetics. They feel about the same. And you, you know, it's, it's really just a matter of choice between these two, but it's a pretty cool niche to fill. Before we move into the 48 versus the G19 video, let's talk real quick about holsters and holster fit. 
We're going to use for this example a crossbreed uh, appendix holster for the Glock 43. We just want to make sure that you know if people do decide to buy more than one that uh, they'll have holster compatibility there. Uh, take note that we have already checked all these guns for clear. Uh, they're all safe with the actions open so let's move past that so that I can manipulate these guns and put them in the holsters. So we're going to start here with your 43. The 43 does in fact fit in the holster. You'll notice that these super tucks here uh, or rather the, the appendix holster, it's a very secure deal. The interesting thing about this holster, not to sit and sell the holsters, is that you can kind of heat them up and increase your tension if you want. But we see it's enough tension to reliably hold a 43 very effectively. And so if we take this 43 out and we move to the 43X, despite the longer grip, it is in fact the same frame and it does in fact still fit just as well. And if we move over here again to the 48, you will notice that, again, it does hold really well. It does hang out a little bit in the bottom. I'm sure that uh, Crossbead will make a specific holster for this guy, probably with a little more Kydex, but the question is, do we really care, right? But notice that it holds really well, too. So they are all holster compatible. And again, the mags are interchangeable between these two model guns as well. So there's that. Um, you cannot obviously put a 43 magazine in one of these frames because it would just be way too short. Um, let's look and see if you can, in fact, use the 10 round magazine. It does not fit in a standard 43, so there's not the cross compatibility that you would see between an, a 17, a 19, and a 26. How you can, you know, you can stick a 17 magazine in a 26. That's not the case here. This is not a longer mag. It is apparently a different architecture. You will notice that it is actually a little bit thinner if you can kind of see that. So, all in all, uh, the the 43 and or 43 X and the 48 are similar enough that you can use the same holster. I'm sure somebody would want to know that. So we're going to move on here to the sort of uh, other cousins in the group. They're certainly not as closely related as the 43 and the 43X, but they are pretty similar guns. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check for clear. We're going to be able to see continuously on the video that no magazine is going into this thing. I just want to be able to work with them safely. I've got another 19 that I'm going to bring in off from off camera. I want to show that that's safe too so we can get that out of the way. You will look between these two firearms here and notice I'm bringing this one in because this gun is an MOS so the sights move back a little bit but in the case of this you'll notice that the sights line up almost identically even the spec on the website shows that the uh, slide length is the same it shows a, uh, a slide length on the both guns is at 6.85 inches with an overall length of 7.28 the width is significantly different. If you look at the slide width on the 48, it is 0.87 inches versus the slide width on the uh, 19 is a full one inch. So it's, you know, it's point, uh, it's, it's like a quarter inch wider whenever you compare the two. And that can be pretty significant, especially for smaller frame people. We have uh, very similar sights on here. This one does come in a Glock night sight and an Ameriglow uh, night sight. You will notice um, that the regular Glock 19 typically does not have so much of a taper, uh, especially on, on the older guns. There is a taper on this MOS. This one also has slide serrations. A lot of the 19s don't come that way. You will notice that the 43X also has the taper versus the 43 does not have the taper. And that really can help in a concealment gun to not snag as much. Six Hour has their... SAS or SIG anti snag system and that is basically rounded edges on the slides and, and, and that kind of thing and that really comes into play in a concealment gun. It's a, it's a nice feature to have. This does have that same silver finish that the 43X has versus the typical black on the 19. Again, I like this gun. Even having a larger hand, it does fit better than something that is stubbier like the 43, for example. I kind of hang off of this, especially if it does not have the pinky extension magazine. If you take the magazine on this and use the standard length magazine, for people with bigger hands, you do kind of hang off. You know, if you grip properly, it's not going to matter a lot. I mean, I like shooting the Glock 43. However, this is a much 
more to me a more natural feeling gun so i actually like this gun again i was like who is going to want a skinny 19 who cares about a skinny 19 well at the end of the day it is more concealable it is thinner it has a much more natural grip than a 43 and it has 10 rounds versus a 43 so you really can kind of again it fills a pretty neat niche you actually get a little bit more barrel you know theoretically you're always going to be a little bit more accurate with a little bit longer barrel so this gun kind of bridges a niche where it may be a little bit more of a shooter gun versus a 43 as well so that is pretty neat also the barrel length on these guns is actually kind of interesting. The Glock 19 itself, the barrel length on it is um, 4.02 inches, whereas the barrel length on the 48X, or, or the 48 rather, is a 4.17 inch. Now, even though a tenth of an inch is not going to make a huge difference, it is just pretty interesting to note that this really compact gun relative to the other gun actually has a longer barrel. Kind of cool. The weight is significantly different. It's uh, with a loaded magazine, it's 25 ounces on the 48 versus 31 ounces on the uh, 19. That's almost half a pound. So that's, you know, that's a significant difference. Uh, the empty gun on the 48 is a 20.74 ounce gun versus a 23 ounce gun that's a whole quarter pounder with cheese so that's pretty good too you actually save some weight on this guy so this thing makes sense i think for a lot of people so all in all what do i think about the line i think it's pretty cool i didn't expect to feel that way but it is so keep an eye out we're going to put out a 40 eight shooting video to see how we like it i don't know if i'm going to compare it to the 19 or not we're going to check out the 48 see how it feels uh we already went over springs in the earlier part of the video, so the guts are different. It is a slightly lighter uh, trigger pull on this gun as well. So to reiterate, I like these guns. I think that they're really neat guns. I think they fill a great spot that is a hole in Glock's offering. And I think people are going to be pretty happy with them. I look forward to them being big sellers. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.